What exactly is factoring, and why should we care about it? A lot of time is spent in algebra classes trying to turn something like this into something like this. But what does all this mean, and what's the point? We can think about factoring in terms of a sandwich. The sandwich is a collection of different things assembled into one unit. However, if we want to know some information about the sandwich, we might have to consider it not as one whole thing, but pulled apart into its component pieces. For instance, if we want to know how many calories are in our sandwich, we have to break it up and look at its parts. We can find the calories in a single slice of bread and multiply that by two. Then the calories in a single slice of ham and multiply that by three and so on. Sometimes the best way to understand something about the whole unit is to break it up and look at the individual pieces. Suppose we had three sandwiches. We are multiplying that one unit by three. If we look at how this affects the individual components, we need to multiply each of the parts by three, giving us six slices of bread, nine slices of ham, twelve slices of tomato, and so on. This pattern of multiplying all the component pieces of something is called the distributive property, since the multiplication is distributed to all the parts. We could also work backwards if we have a collection of parts and want to figure out how many whole units these would come together to make. We could see how many complete sandwiches we have if we had 10 slices of bread, 15 slices of ham, 20 tomato slices, and so on. Looking at the quantities of our ingredients, we can see they're all multiples of 5. This means we could divide 5 evenly out of each of these values and make 5 complete sandwiches. We have 5 sets of the 2 slices of bread, 5 sets of the 3 slices of ham, and so on. This is the reverse of the distributive property, because we're unmultiplying a value out of all of the pieces to make whole units. This process is called factoring. Now, a sandwich isn't that complex of a unit, but it allows us to see this principle of factoring and the distributive property. These basic tools enable us to work with even highly complex quantities, either as one assembled unit or broken apart into component pieces.